In an attempt to revitalize Nigeria's failing power sector, the federal government started a new round of consultations yesterday. There was a suggestion that industry participants could have to stop using dollars for transactions in order to solve the gas supply issue. Chief Adebayo Adilabu, the Minister of Power, made his statement at the start of a three-day retreat that he organized in Abuja. Adilabu contended that eliminating the U.S. dollar factor would be a useful strategy to combat the generation companies or Jenko's volatility in gas pricing. Now, for the second day this week, the NGX closed in the bullish territory as the OSHA index appreciated 0.33% to close at 71,907, even as the market slowly continues to approach the uncharted waters of 72,000 points. Following the close of the market at 39.349 trillion naira, stocks gained 130 billion naira, with a turn of about 380 million and a gain of 0.99%. Equities like Jitku and Asset Score were the main drivers of the market's development on Wednesday. Now, Mokhtar Mohammed is the CEO of Finance with Mokhtar. He's joining me live now here in the studios to chew to the marketplace. Morning. Good morning, anyway, morning let's uh, get it with this. Uh, I, I love it when I got the market street folks with me, getting together on the market. Uh, so, so what do you make of the bullish run so far this year and is a Santa Claus rally around the corner? Well, about the bullish run this year, I'm excited about it. And uh, like I said one time when I was with you, I'm excited about it because it's driven by the locals, not really by institutional investors, foreign investors. So it's driven by the locals, local institutional investors, local retail investors, local high net investors. Folks like yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so it's great. Folks have, like yourself. It's great having ordinary to Nigeria. be ordinary Nigerian driving the market. Then yes. the Santa rally. I think even if the market stops today at where it is, we've already had the Santa rally since the coming of this administration. So it, 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 it won't make any difference if the Santa rally continues. Like you, you, you say, 71,900. Yes, we're already almost 72,000. Yeah. Whatever happens between now and Christmas and, and year reign. So since. President Tinubu's uh, takeover, since we got, uh, got done with the elections, February, March, then the market was looking who's going to emerge as a president. Technically from May 29, first of June, the market have seen close to about uh, eight months, very bullish run. Mm. Yeah, it's not surprising if you know that market that have been down for eight years. When you look at the time of President um, Muhammadu Buhari, mm. the market has been stagnant for almost eight years. We just see, we saw equity at all-time high coming to at all-time low. So um, policies just came in and changed the direction of the market. Two of those major policies that changed the market direction were the removal of subsidy and the floating of the Naira, and that was just a game changer. Mm. Uh, interesting. But again, this year, the market continues this bullish run on the equity side, despite the devaluation, the very sharp fall in the local currency, the Naira. Then you've got inflation uh, uh, remaining stubborn, above 20%. Uh, uh, so uh, what do you think about this 40% index return year to date, if I put that in U.S. dollar terms, at today's exchange rate. Well, most of what I always say about the U.S. dollar term is um, sometimes we seem to be excited about it because we invest in dollar. We said, oh, it makes more sense to invest in dollar. But one thing we've always first to to failed to realize is that if you invest in dollar, you are not making a, a return of 10% on your dollar. It doesn't make any, any good because inflation there is almost 10% too. Mm -hmm. The only time you get value for your dollar is when you now bring it back here and change it to Naira, you begin to say, oh, the dollar is so fantastic about that. So when you look at that via, via inflation, you, you begin to look at, wow, if you look at what, they are, what, what, what will you use to guide against inflation height? Mm. You only but look at the market because if inflation is about 27% and the market have done about 40%, where else could you have gotten a better return than the equity market? So to edge against inflation, that's the place to be. To look at the dollar to Naira, that is the place to be because if you keep your Naira without investing it, it's losing value in terms of the dollar rate. If you keep your dollar without changing it to Naira to invest it, it's also losing value. And if you don't invest the dollar itself. It's a, it's a, it's but, but whichever way you look at it, well, if the United States is talking about the U.S. market, it's in dollar terms. So yeah. they talk about the market going up. So if we use that and, and Naira is our legal tender, as the Federal Republic of Nigeria is concerned. So if we make very good gains in narrow terms, and no one should tell me that we are doing badly. No one should tell that, but you know the no. market, the, the economy has gone global. And the global currency is the dollar. Yes, I And understand. because when we talk about the generation that talks about the dollar, yes. you and I know those generations. The crypto yes. generation, they try those every investment in dollar return. So I agree. That's I why agree. you will see those. But again, the dollar still needs the Naira, in the manner of speaking. You don't have a parity if you are the only one. I just what I'm saying. If yes. you have the dollar and it's not growing, 
to relative to 10%, mm. and you have the Naira, and it's, it, I mean, by the time you change your, you, you, it's only when you change that dollar to Naira that you begin to say, oh, I've made something more. But if you keep that dollar down and it's not growing by 10%, you're actually losing money. You, you, you mentioned the performance, and if you look at this year so far, when you look at the NGX, some folks say it's disconnected with the economy. I don't really agree with that, and I, and I could put my point here. But uh, I'm asking you whether there's this disconnect with the, uh, with the real economy, because again, uh, the market is here. Yeah. The participants are yeah. here. The companies are yeah. here. Uh, uh, so, do you see that disconnect or just that the market is not deep enough in terms of local listings? You hit the nail. Not deep enough. When you look at, in all the industry we have that are key driver of the Nigerian economy, mm. if you look at the oil and gas sector, what you have listed on the stock market, exception for Seplat, and the listing of Owando. All other companies are listing just their marketing arm. Mm. So we are not getting those of production, we are not getting those of marketing. I mean, we are not getting those of sales, we're just having their marketing arm. Then again, why did you think the, the only key mover of the Nigerian economy that is listed in the market is the banking sector? So all other sectors have some of their large players not in the market. In the telecoms sector, MTN was forced to come to the market because of the issues they have. Globalcom is not in the market. Uh, um, Nine Mobile is not in the market. Airtel is in the market, but the Airtel listing is even like a, 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 a transnational listing. So when you look at it like that, then you, you, you have to see. But again, what I always say is that the market has a life of its own. Yes. There's a level whereby the market can sustain it. When the market carries a life of its own, it comes to a point that he needs the economy to continue to breathe yes. that fresh air. Yes. So, That's so, where the challenge comes so, from. So the banking sector is the cream de la creme of the, uh, of the Nigerian market. So the, uh, let me just uh, throw this in because the, uh, the BPE, the new Council on Privatization, was just inaugurated a few days ago by the Vice President. And the BPE Director General uh, was, was talking about bringing more companies to the market. Uh, under the new privatization program. Uh, do you think that will give a bit more deepening to the market uh, if government do some of this wholesale uh, sale of this asset via the market rather than just doing a private placement sort of? Uh, you see, the problem is when it comes to privatization, how sincere and openness it is in privatization. That's my challenge I have. We've done it before. We, we've done we it could, before. We could do it again. We could we do need it again. We the banking sector. We did a couple of years. Listen, I, I think if, the, if they are telling me they want to bring anybody to the market, let them bring, a, uh, let them bring an NPC Nigeria Limited to the market. That would be a game changer. Dangote Refiner is already telling us that he will be in the market, but when he hasn't told us yet, also, well, perhaps we need to expect yeah, the Angotin refinery yeah, to start production listen, before so coming to the market. To the market. So yes. if they want to privatize, yes, fine. There's a lot of government establishment that don't have no business being in governance hands. So government should begin to think about what we see, PPP privatization. British Airways today is own, yeah, government have a stake there, but it's private sector dripping. Ethiopia Airlines, the same thing. Air France, 90 years of existence, the same thing. Not all, all about... The, 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 the government. It's all about partnership. Do you think some state government should bring some companies to the market as well? Maybe Lagos State. <coughs> well, they've got a couple of assets they could bring well, to the market. When you talk about Lagos State, I think Lagos State are most of what the state government are interested in. I think they have, they've always come to the market. Yeah, Lagos State owns uh, 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 Tafaba Lagos Square, for example. Yeah, the they, TBS. So they, if TBS comes as a real estate to the market, I'm sure you'll be buying. You'll be bidding. That's a, that's a prime asset. If it it's, if, if it's has a, a PPP, a, a private partnership thing, the government have been coming to market. Remember, most government have come to the market to get to access from true bonds. Yeah, I know bonds. But yeah. we want more equity. Some stocks uh, that ordinary folks could just buy Bosin, and trade Bosin, on a daily basis. The question basis. I will ask you is that... That's liquidity. Yes, the question I will ask you is that how many governors in Nigeria are fabric sector driven? Well, we got, we got a couple of them. Many, some of them are. They, they pride themselves to be so. But when they go there, what do you see? Mm. You got me there. You got you got me there. So FBN Holdings should this year have some celebration mm. that the big elephant uh, crossed one trillion naira mark. What do you make of that? The big elephant crossed one trillion mark because of because of uh, um, uh, uh, what I call power play in terms of who wants to be the highest shareholder of uh, FBN. It's not about the numbers because the numbers are not so fantastic. Yeah, but power play move companies in every market. You know that. Even in yeah, the, but when, when you, saw, you saw the power play, Tesla, Twitter, whether it's X, whatever, no, no, and all no, no, of that. It does. You saw what happened. But it does. But relatively, at the end of the day, they say water will always sign its level. The numbers will come to tell about the price and then the price will, will matter. Because what you're seeing now is forces 
that are trying to be in control, driving that price. Once there's stability, it will come back and, to the market. And these are, folks, these are folks who are corporate titans. Femi will tell the lot and the rest. You understand what I'm saying. And when I say transcore as well with Tony Lumelu, and I just bring that uh, uh, table back on the screen for me. I just want uh, um, um, Mokta to see uh, those uh, names again. If you look at Boasiman, for example, a very big name. These are heavy industrialists. You talk about uh, the, the rest of the ATL Africa. Of course, it's dual list there. So you look at Dango Testament, uh, uh, Boasiman, Boa Foods, uh, Sepla, Jitko, uh, and the banks. This looks like a, a very good portfolio. There's a trillion it's market a trillion. cap. You remember, you don't this, is a, this is a club you want to be, belong. Exactly. And remember, <laughs> usually forget that we are we're moving towards a trillion dollar economy. So when you begin to see a trillion dollar companies, yes. that seems the government seems to be maybe. Mm. Maybe, 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 maybe. But again, if you look at this table, you find that the banks are still trailing behind the big industries and the telcos. Yeah, the reason uh, for that. Look, look at, look at uh, Dangote Cement 5.5. MTN is standing at the doorsteps of 5 trillion. Airtel Africa about 6.6. .6. Uh, between Boa Foods and uh, Boa Cement, that's roughly 7 trillion. Uh, so that looks like the banks, even though they are doing 1.2, 1.1, they still have a lot of. Uh, yeah, they have, they, have, they have a lot of catching up in their you need to, to look do. at the, the number of shares, outstanding numbers of shares from these other trillion companies. You see that the outstanding number of shares is low compared to the banking. So the, mm. the banking stock seems to have more outstanding number of shares. And when you have those large outstanding number, to buy and buy your price, it doesn't seem to get there easily. But when you look at all these ones, the outstanding number of shares is low, and then the price is high, then they hit the trillion early. How do you think the market will fare next year? Let me begin to scratch. Those of you who are professionals and well, are investment next experts. Next year, we expect that the market should continue what it's doing. Maybe there may be a slowdown at the first quarters. Maybe no, the second quarter when the results start coming in. Mm. Then, yeah. then I see there will be a game changer next year, and that game changer will come in if we start having the foreign investors coming in, the portfolio investors. Like you always say, coming for the hot money. Yeah, I, I know. You look, I'm careful. I like this hot potato. You guys are one the dollars. But I would rather want to see the government in the market and bring in local companies that would drive our own industrialization, that, the, would, that would drive that, the that, power that, sector, that, for example. The government wants to sell down its balance of 40% in, uh, in, in, and, in the discourse, for example. That, is, that should be offloaded on the NGX. That should be naturally what will happen. But again, investors' perception of when it comes to government business in terms of privatization no, is not you, very if exciting. You, if you bring 40% of the discos to the market or Jenkos today to the market, I'm sure you will be the first. Of course, uh, that is, that's, that's, a, you that, make that, money. that's a cash cow. And you wouldn't tell me. That's a cash cow. <laughs> that's a big cash cow. You're talking about electricity to every yes. household in Nigeria? Yes. That's a big cash cow. Yes. That's a big cash cow. Yes. That is, if they, if they are going to bring it yes. based on strong private sector driven policy. Equal electricity. Ikeja Disco. Abuja Disco. Who are those? Who are those? You remember that Abuja Disco, as it stands presently, had its issue with UBA before it was collected yeah, that's from okay. them. Yes, okay. But again, if you if you, if you, if you bring in Abuja Disco to the market, Tony Olimoli won't say no. Trust me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I agree. I agree look, with you totally. It's a big money. The, 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 this is the next oil next in year, Nigeria. Next year, it's bigger than oil. Next year is going to be a lot of big uh, game changer. If you look at the administration drive, yes. if you look at their, um, their drive of PPP, and if you go to the antecedent of who the president is, yes. he's somehow a private sector driven yeah, economy he, man. He, he, so he's it's a total took, capitalism. Look, president Lewis was the one who took the Lagos state to the stock market. Yeah. When he had issues with, with, with President uh, Obasanjo well, back then, over there. And he did 500 billion, which today stands as a poster boy for every state government it's in Nigeria. Yeah. So, President Tinubu you know, is a capital market person. He, he understands is. it. Wale Edun was his minister back then. Wale Edun is an investment banker of repute. So, between them and Cardoso, they should bring more issues to the market next year. That's my first thing. I hope they do that. They have all the. They have all the. Um, um, they goodwill. have the pedigree. They have the pedigree and they have the goodwill of the market to yes. to be able to drive that because the market players believe both Kadosu and Wale do. And I think mm. they could step on that goodwill and begin to assess the market, especially in the area of infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to see that happen. And well, again, they are doing that again in the budget. Remember that the budget now local borrowing is going to be higher than foreign borrowing. So that also yes. could see kickstart local uh, uh, market, capital market, market activities. 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 Yeah. Well, let's see that. I'm looking forward to that in the new year. And very early, too. We don't have all the time. Maybe by the time the earnings are coming in, market's going down. Exactly. They're bringing to hit the market on the primary exactly. side. Exactly. That's why I said second then, quarter. If you make money next year, I'll let, me be, let me be the first to know. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.